Hello there and welcome to another episode of my Flutter app building journey. In this episode, I will show you how to link our login block from the login underscore block dot dart file to our UI or user interface components such as my field, password, but and a submit button. So uh, let's begin. And uh, for this particular episode, I will now be using the provider package to create such connection between the two. So to do that, I will go to my pubspec.yaml file. I will then execute the command from the extension named pubspec assist. So I will select this and then type in provider. Okay. And then as you may notice, it all it automatically added the provider dependency package as well as its uh, current or updated version. As soon as I hit save or control S on my keyboard, the flutter packages command will be run and it will download the provider package. So I can now close this pubspec.yaml file and I will go back to my app.dart file. So let's go back or let's go and take a look at the provider documentation. So I access the pub.dev web page, which shows all the list of packages right here. And then I just type in provider. And this one is the one that we are using. So I will show you how to expose the value. So I originally did a video regarding the simple usage or simple demonstration about the provider package uh, in episode 3. So this will be just a quick recap then. So again, we will be wrapping our scaffold inside this provider of type string dot value. So let's do that same thing here in our scaffold. So going back to the code, I will just click the scaffold and then press control dot in my keyboard. I will then wrap it with a new widget. And instead of a widget, I will just name this as provider, the generic type of dynamic dot value. And you will notice right away that there is a red squiggly line underneath it. In that case, I will just press Control dot again and, and import this provider.dart library. And if I hover my mouse on top of it now, it will show that the parameter value is required. So this value right here uh, we'll be having the login block. All right. I will now hit save, and that's it. Basically, what we did was we had this login block available, or we made this login block available for the scaffold widget in all its child and children components or and its descendants rather so the scaffold here will be able to access the public uh, streams and functions inside the login block that that file like this one email password submit button is valid also this email changes password changes and this submit login function right here Aside from that, uh, 
the login page screen will be also able or will be also be able to access those public um, streams as well as its uh, child widgets like the email log, uh, password field and submit button so in my next episode i will show you how to uh, utilize those uh, public streams and functions but for now uh, let me show you another way so let's say we have a scenario wherein we have multiple block files and aside from block files we also have let's say futures or or, uh, or other streams uh, if we if in case we have multiple streams futures or blocks then it would be better if we use multi provider instead so i'll replace this with okay, sorry about that so instead of this i will re replace this with multi provider okay i will then remove this value uh, property and replace it with providers these providers will then accept a list of providers so since we have uh, I will put here the login block so provider of type dynamic dot value and I will assign value of login block and that's it so I think we're now through with this uh, video this one's relatively short but for the next video we will be discussing uh, how we will be able to use the stream builders uh, in order to utilize the public functions and streams available inside this login block file all right so give a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos about flutter development so see you on the next episode and thank you for watching